Paul's balls are world famous. For almost two years, Paul Mannering has been handcrafting croquet balls in his Humpty Doo shed. He's one of only three people in the world that makes the balls. It's been an unusual career climb. I was a gardener at a school here in Palmerston. Mm -hmm. So, and doing plastering on the side because I'm having a plastery. Big change, yeah, totally different to what I know. Paul bought the business in South Australia from a legendary croquet player, Brian Dawson. And in just one week, he learnt the craft of making the ball. It's a tricky process that starts with a secret recipe plastic mix, which is heated up, stirred, moulded and pressed to make a ball of perfect size and weight. In this modest office, he then organises the sale of his balls to croquet clubs around the world. There's about 320 clubs in Australia that I send to, and I send to Canada, America, New Zealand, England and South Africa at the moment. Over 3,000 kilometres away on this chilly Adelaide morning, these ladies and gentlemen have gathered for a spot of croquet, where Paul Mannering's balls are on full display. I've played with about five different sorts of balls in the years that I've been playing and they are absolutely the best. They give the same playing performance as the original Jark balls um, and they're just, they're just fabulous. Croquet is played by millions of people around the world and Paul Mannering says players are often surprised to discover that one of its major equipment manufacturers are based out of an Australian shed. Are they really amazed that a ball could be made here in Australia and they're still being manufactured, yeah. Every three years, Paul Mannering sends these balls to the All English Croquet Club. Now, as you can see from the process, getting them up to a high standard isn't easy. Paul Mannering easily passed his last test and is determined to continue making the world's greatest balls. Elias Kluwer, ABC News, Humpty Doo.